giving me plant shop girl that's a devil worshiper. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Boop. Hey Sunshiners, Alexa Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello, happy sunny day, what is up? So last month I made a video called Solving Your Styling Dilemmas and I had so much fun with it, you know, be a little stylist in a way and I decided it was time to do another one. Again, big inspo from Ellie's video that originally inspired me and I asked the same thing on my Instagram which is Alex and Jane 83 and I got so many good pieces. Like windling it down was so tough so if you would like to see this type of video again, make sure you thumbs it up so I know because I had so many I wanted to do, but obviously I didn't want to make this video like an hour long. I ended up choosing 10 items and made another Depop collection called Styling You Part 2, which of course use what's already in your closet. The Depop collection is just for inspiration and also because I'm using those pieces to make these outfits. I wanted there to be an option if you did want to purchase it, but again, please Please use what's already in your closet and yeah, let's get into the outfits. The first piece is this black and white corset from Finn who said, I need help styling this zip up corset I found. It fit me perfectly so I couldn't pass it up in the thrift store, but I can't figure out how to wear it out and about. I know for myself, I've thrifted things, specifically corsets that are absolutely gorgeous, but I don't know how to wear them in an everyday way. And I wouldn't say the way that I actually styled this corset is necessarily a casual outfit, but I hope you understand my vision. So first off, I very much see layering with this corset. I think that's the best way to downplay something like this. And I'm definitely thinking a ruffle type of blouse. I had kind of two different ideas of either pairing it with a white ruffly puff sleeve or a black one since the stripes are so big, I feel like any color could just look off and we are trying to downplay it. So going with more like the darker colors to kind of tone it down is where, you know, my head was at. Now, pants wise, I went back and forth on either leather pants or jeans. And I think with it, it can be like a choose your own adventure type of thing because pairing with the puffy white top and leather pants, I then add some large gloves. Yes, I know, uh, but I had a vision and also I'm like really into gloves gloves right now. So obviously if that isn't your vibe, you could change it up with more of a put together look like this normal black trousers and a black blazer. But I did find this beautiful black and white striped blazer that was really speaking to me. As always with any of the pants or jeans, I would add a belt. And so I have a couple ones here, but also this black and white belt, like how perfect is that? I mean, it really depends if you really want to like go into the black and white stripe theme. But again, obviously just a plain black one would totally work as well. Between these different choices of shoes, I'd probably stick to either a black Mary Jane or even these chunky white boots. I think could also be a great option if you're wanting to go fancier pairing it instead with a dress like this black one, especially if you're wanting to add color like this red blazer or keeping it simple with a black leather trench. All these options are ones I personally would go for if I was styling this corset for myself, kind of ranging from casual to a little bit more dressy depending on the day. Of course, with all of them, I mean, you can put a corset just with jeans and that does technically, you know, tone it down, maybe even with a white t-shirt under it, kind of with what I'm doing right now but hopefully all those options kind of inspire you to take it however you want to. Next, we have these pair of brown leather leggings and this viewer said, aside from black tops, I don't know what else to wear with them. And I really kept that in mind when creating these outfits, especially because I cannot deny that my impulse is just to put them with like black, but no, no, not today. So I decided to first go with something simple, like just a plain white tank top or even a sweater vest like these. I'm not sure if it's high rise or not, but regardless, at least for myself, I usually don't wear crop tops with legging type of pants. So I definitely was leaning more towards a looser top. Although I did find this white ruffled crop top that I did think would be cute. If you don't want something so neutral, you 
could go with a blue or a green top. I feel like brown with those colors really like pairs well together. I even thought of maybe a sweater vest or actual sweater with an argyle pattern. And depending on what you pick, you can either bring in a patterned blazer or just a green long sleeve button up for a very chill look. Then for shoes, I'd say either just normal Converse or depending on what the leg is like. I don't know. Is it like super tight? Is it loose? So just going with some simple black boots is always a really great option. I know we said no black, but I feel like with shoes, it's okay. Honestly, with this one, it was quite challenging at first, but I decided to kind of look at the leather brown leggings as almost they were brown trousers. And I felt like that opened up at least my like creativity and like mind on kind of what to pair with it and style it. And I think I have honestly really great options to go, you know, any direction that you want to go where it isn't just pairing it with black. <laughs> All right, we have this dress from a viewer saying, I am at a loss when it comes to styling it for everyday wear. Anytime you have a dress that's either a spaghetti strap or like some sort of strap where you could layer something under it that you want to kind of style it in a more everyday casual vibe, my go-to is to always pair it with just a like white t-shirt under it, white crop top, something like that. I feel like it really kind of brings it down. I feel like what I'm wearing right now like perfectly emulates that because this tank top has like little rhinestones and like the material it could be more of a dressy top but because I paired just a white t-shirt under it it kind of like brings it down into a everyday casual chill let me go to the grocery store type of look. So that's what I first did with this dress. And I also thought pairing it with a hair clip like this one from Chunks, a simple brown crossbody bag and some chunky sandals. If you aren't as keen on wearing a t-shirt under, going with a simple cardigan, maybe having two buttons buttoned on the front, maybe will make it more casual. And in this case, I took out the yellow and the orange to find these two cardigans that I think would be perfect. Then going for either a chunky black boot or even some fun cowboy boots. I did think about creating an outfit with a belt to bring more of shape to this dress, but I don't know why. Adding belts to dresses for me is actually kind of outside of my comfort zone. It's not something I usually do. And especially with this dress, there are ties in the back where you can like make it tighter. So I didn't really feel like I needed to put an outfit like that. But if you did want to add more shape, you could add like a big brown belt maybe. From Erin, we have this beautiful fuzzy coach coat. And she says, I thrifted this coach coat for only $40. It's so wild that it's a little hard to style. And she also mentioned that she doesn't wear long skirts or dresses, which is something I kept in mind when creating these outfits. And then she also added if it was possible for me to create a unisex option so her husband can rock it as well. So I created two different avenues for styling this coat. First off, I am going like full ham into pastels. This coat is truly magical. So I wanted to keep to the bright, light, pastel, soft overall look of it with maybe a colored slip dress like these. I think if you had some like colorful pastel tights paired with it, whether they were patterned or not, it would look so cool. And then even with some funky platform white shoes, ugh. I think pieces like this can be really intimidating. So I wanted to also show how pairing patterns could look really good as well. So first going with some sort of floral skirt, definitely making sure the base color is a pastel or white, then adding another floral in the top, which I chose more of a bustier type of tops. I just thought it gave a nice spring vibe to it. To top off this more feminine take, a heart purse like this pink one or this blue one would be just the cherry on top. But if your husband isn't feeling that look, maybe going instead for some jeans, like these Levi ribcage ones, and then a long t-shirt, which is super simple, but I think it's kind of a solid outfit. Although if you are wanting to add more color, going for a button up, maybe in an orange or a coral, and then bring it in on the waist with a white belt, then to finish it off with some chunky black boots. And depending on how daring you're feeling, I also saw this pink or black cow print fuzzy bucket 
yoga hat and I'm like really feeling it. So I'm gonna present it as an option. Helena sends in this next one saying, recently I got this black corduroy jumpsuit, but I haven't figured out a way to dress it down and combine it with other pieces. And she mentions that she lives in Germany. So definitely we'll have to focus on layering with this one, which this jumpsuit literally fits you so perfectly. I've talked, I think, in I guess Sunday's video about how I like won't allow myself to buy jumpsuits because they just never fit me right. And like this jumpsuit, it, it was made for you. So I have a couple of different options for the first outfit. I am starting with some sort of mock neck or turtleneck under it. I found this sheer turtleneck and even this bright green one if you wanted to add more color. For shoes, I'm definitely thinking either these chunky ones or just normal loafers. I think either a simple black crossbody or even this bag. Look at how cute it is. Of course, again, with the whole weather thing, I found a couple different jackets that I think would layer with any of these pieces I mentioned, especially this leather one. I think the two materials against each other would look great or even this denim trench coat, like so interesting. If you're looking for something with more layers, I also thought adding just a black turtleneck and then a brown sweater vest then adding a long brown blazer although making sure if you go with a brown sweater vest either going for a darker or lighter brown blazer oh also i forgot to mention shoes which maybe going for a patterned boot could be fun nothing crazy but these zebra print boots poking out at the bottom like Honestly, I'm already sold on this jumpsuit in general, but now hopefully we have a couple, you know, variety of ways to style it. This next one is wild. The viewer said, I would love help styling this piece and they've worn it a couple of times, but they never know how to wear it. I had a couple different ways that I personally would style this, which first off with some jeans, preferably straight leg, or I thought maybe pairing either a white mock neck top and styling it kind of like this inspo so a cool biker jacket on top and i guess taking away from the top just a little bit you know having it more be a side character you know then some chunky boots obviously i feel like i put that with every outfit but like it just always makes sense with every outfit but then a different way to style it and maybe make it you know shine a little bit more i thought pairing a black corduroy mini skirt and almost taking the pink and red as a valentine theme. So I paired it with this heart little cami or even this one with the ruffles. For something a little bit more casual, I thought also just going with a simple baby tee like this cowgirl one or even this Betty Boop top with some longer shorts and platform boots like these with just the top again unbuttoned and adding like a fun bag like this cat one or this I love Taylor Swift one. I don't know. It just spoke to me with this look, depending on how long the button up is. I also thought wearing it with a red slip dress like this one, basically just have the bottom of the dress poke out and having the button up actually be fully buttoned. So it's like, a button up dress and but there's like a red dress under it the last idea i had probably doesn't work but honestly i just need to share it anyway <laughs> i was thinking some pink trousers striped turtleneck under buttoned and tucked in with some little ballet flats is it cute i don't know i personally think so you know it's giving me plant shop girl that's a devil worshiper okay back to something i, I don't want to say basic because it's not basic, but like not what the last one was. She says, I need help styling this blouse. It's not long enough to wear as a dress, but I don't know what to do with the lawn fridge. And oh, was I feeling the creative juices with this one? I don't know. I've been feeling very inspired by the whole like dresses over jeans look. I don't know why, but this top was kind of giving me so many different ideas. So actually this photo was what inspired me the most. I decided to find some midi slash maxi skirts to wear under, not focusing on really matching the blue, but just having something floral. I kind of had two different shoe options. First, these cheetah platforms. I know, I know, but 
I like the mix match pattern. It just makes me feel something, okay? Or even just brown platforms could be cute as well. I also thought you could pair a detachable collar. I don't know, the neck is, isn't giving me anything. And I mean, you could just go for a simple necklace, but we are kind of going hard with this look. So the more the merrier. If you did want to wear it more as a dress, I think this lace one would look amazing under it. It would almost look like they were just like one, like the two pieces were actually made together with how the kind of tool is coming out at the bottom and then adding these pumps. Like, are you kidding me? That is just such a cute outfit. For a pants option, I was thinking about going with leather green pants, but you know, how many people actually own leather green pants? <laughs> honestly, I have no idea. I've never even seen them in real life before. I think my favorite one would honestly be putting some sort of dress with like a tool under it. Like, I think that's where I would go and then the detachable collar. But again, totally depends on what your personal style is. Okay, this next one says, I love this corduroy patchwork midi skirt, but I don't really know how to style it. I love dressing really eccentric and fun. So every type of inspiration will be greatly appreciated. And I try to really hold on to the eccentric and fun. So my first inspiration was this photo. Although I don't personally wear a lot of crocheted items. I mean, I never wear crochet items. I did think maybe a crochet crop top would be cute. Then adding a contrasting crochet bucket hat or even just a denim one or like scrapping the crochet top and pairing just a white crop top. Again, we are trying to channel what he said. So I did find two other plain items Items that were sweater vests because I feel like a sweater vest could look really cool with it, but maybe just going with a plain one. I don't, I really saw this skirt with some sort of sweater. I just was really feeling like a fairy core, goblin core, like forest feeling with this skirt. So I thought maybe even something with mushrooms, like a cardigan with mushrooms, moving away from the mushroom theme. I also thought going for a plain crew neck, like this grandma one or this puppy one, like that would be my instinct of what I would pair with the skirt. The skirt does really remind me of something from UNIF. So I also found this green UNIF cardigan that I thought would be so cute with maybe a red bustier and then some sort of Mary Janes, like these purple velvet ones or like just some creepers. Also definitely some sort of beaded necklace. Honestly, with any of the options that I picked out would be great. And if you weren't feeling again, the mushroom forest vibe, I even found this bunny balaclava to really hit home the eccentric and fun. This next viewer did send me a couple different items, but this green cardigan, I think had the most options I could think of. And of course I love green, so I had to. My first thought was just a floral dress any floral dress to be honest, because green kind of goes with everything. So I thought maybe this purple one or this short butterfly one. Another idea kind of reminds me of the previous one with more of a cottagey edge, like layering a white or off-white turtleneck with some sort of overall dress. And then with the cardigan, adding brown little shoes like these with some sort of stripe brown socks. I also thought about going more of a denim skirt route whatever length and just a baby tee. I'm gonna be honest, I kind of went ham with this one. Like I created so many different outfits that I can't talk through because there's just like not enough time. So I'll show them all on the screen, but truly you can pair this cardigan with literally everything and it will look amazing. Okay, so this last one is also a cardigan, but it's different. It comes from Kylie who says, I'm just stuck with styling this. Now the photo that they sent was a photo from Depop, but they actually thrifted the cardigan, but it's like the same one. And I really struggled with it because I actually think the person who's wearing it in that Depop photo is honestly wearing it really well. But I did want to obviously make an outfit of my own. So I went for a more of a simple look with this black mini dress, this black bag, a little black beret, some simple heels, and then maybe some fun, colorful knee 
knee-high socks, but I also put it with a black tank top and black mini skirt, which both ways being tied in the middle. As I was trying to get inspiration for this look, I did see this outfit from Olivia Rodrigo, and I just thought maybe the cardigan would actually look kind of cool with it. Again, minus the whole like low rise thing. So I found this denim skirt or even this green one for a pop of color and then a little angel tee and some red heels. I also did recreate it in a way that was similar to what the Depop seller did with some brown pants and a lacy top. And overall, I like all of the outfits that I made. I feel like hopefully I gave a couple of different options that you hadn't thought of. <laughs> And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to everyone that sent me your items to try and style. I honestly had so much fun with this video and the previous one. It's just exciting to like take an item and like try to create all these different outfits. If you guys would like to see my face again, then make sure to subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is alexsunshine83. I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope you have a super sunny day. Bye.